What's up guys? Welcome to the video. It is currently 7.42 in the morning and I thought I'd start off this vlog with getting ready. So what you guys didn't see was that I woke up at 4.30 in the morning to work out and I made breakfast and made Sophia's lunch and then took her to school today and so now I'm back. I took a shower, okay, after my workout, so my hair is still a little bit wet, but I figured I would do like, I don't know, I get ready with me, I guess, since I have an important uh, day today where I have to look presentable, but I also like to get ready in the mornings after my workouts because it, you know, you just are more productive, I feel like. The days that I'm like, just stay like in my, pajamas or just like loungewear, I tend to be not as productive. I mean, I'm productive, but like not as productive. So I've been really focusing on getting ready in the mornings, especially since I got my workout out of the way. I don't have to stress about getting sweaty all over again. But before I do, I wanted to share with you guys these new perfumes that I got from Dossier. I got two different ones. One is Oriental Lavender and the other one is Fruity Magnolia. Dossier wanted to collaborate for this video, so this is a collaboration with Dossier. Dossier reproduces classic, high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all of the expenses and the infamous brand tax. They also have a risk-free system allowing customers to try the perfumes before committing to them. That's right, free returns and exchanges forever. Dossier is doing a welcome offer up to 20% off on their website. You can make that 30% off off of your first order by using this discount code. So I'm going to be getting ready and talking to you guys about my recent bod pod. Um, and if you guys, hold on, grabbing my makeup box and some new contacts because your girl's blind. So I've done a few videos on doing my bod pod and I'll have it linked here for you guys who, if you want to see because I didn't actually record any this recent time but um, it's basically you sit in this like egg shaped thing and they measure your body fat percentage and your and your fat free mass I need to go cut my nails because they're so long it's getting hard to take out my contacts for the face to hydrate. I got a little beauty mark this morning. As you guys know, if you've been following Chasing My Health, I have some new development with my health, with my thyroid and lipedema, and I'm still kind of figuring all that out. And while it can make things difficult for my personal weight loss journey, it seems hopeful, guys. It seems hopeful, and I'm excited to share with you guys I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot these and put them on the screen. Back in Alaska, I was weighing around 127 pounds, I believe. And I think right before I left, I was like maybe 130, um, which is a good weight. Like I feel comfortable in that weight. I don't feel like too fluffy or too skinny. I felt like it was a perfect weight for me. Since arriving to Texas, I put on about 30 pounds, so I was weighing like 152 to be exact at my heaviest that I ever tracked and to be honest, I have not been that heavy for years and for someone that's 5 foot 2, any little weight just, <laughs> I'm pretty petite so I feel like any extra pounds just really looks 
heavier. So that being said, I wanted to share with you guys my Bob Pod results because it's been kind of nice to see the progress. And to be honest, I encourage all of you military families that have access to bod pods or special equipment like this to go and do it like it's free of charge for military families and for all the civilians you know that don't have necessarily access to it it can be you know roughly about a hundred dollars each time to even get tested for something like this so I always try and encourage all my military families to take advantage of this stuff because it's not just for active duty members, it's also for their family members that are interested in it. All right, so I got my foundation, got bronzer, blush, eyeliner, mascara. I'm going to be putting on some, some highlighter. <laughs> If you're someone that is scared to go to a bod pod, because I've heard that before, that they don't want to know what how how bad it's gotten. Honestly, you just have to face it. You just have to, you know, it, do if you want it, if you want to change, if you want to see progress, you just have to face it, the truth. And for me, the truth is, is that I've gained a lot of weight. It may not always be because of my habits. Um, it could be because of my thyroid, how it, it may be working slower. Um, I'm still in the process of figuring out what is going on with my thyroid, but I think just getting it done and facing your fears, hearing the truth, is ultimately the best thing that you can do for yourself. So back on August 3rd, I weighed 150 pounds and I was 39.3% body fat. This recent one, which was September 3rd, I was weigh I weighed in at 147.5 pounds, and my body fat percentage was 37.7. So that is approximately 1.6% of body fat down, which is great. I know it doesn't seem like a lot because it's it's one month of work <laughs> and being consistent and um, tracking macros, you know, going to sleep at the same time, training, you know, everything is routine. And to be honest, I really enjoy routine. And with Sophia being in school, I, you know, I kind of need it. It's not ideal, but you know, just seeing these lines go down and then this one going up, I love these charts because I'm a visual person, so just seeing it visually is amazing. Let me, let me get my eyelashes. <laughs> Guys, I, I feel like I'm struggling doing two things at the same time right now. Actually, three things. I'm having, I'm trying to do my makeup and talk to you guys and think about what I'm trying to tell you guys. <laughs> So for my lashes, I actually like to cut them really small and then I only put them like on the outer edges to give me that like foxy eye, cat eye, I don't know, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's what I've been doing, especially because I don't like having the eyelash right in my eye, like right here on this side because it just it bothers me, so I only stick them on the outer part. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys because... It's a journey. It's all about the journey and I love it. You know, something that I really fell in love with when I was doing bodybuilding was the journey. Just that mental uh that mental push that you had to keep doing that nobody else was going to keep you accountable for. It was just you. That was what I loved. I loved being able to, you know, tell people no, like I'm not going to eat a slice of pizza. I got goals. I got goals to reach and I'm not going to just not I'm not gonna give in to this slice of pizza because everybody else is eating it anyways um, yeah I wanted to share that with you guys um, just to be transparent and of course I told you guys that I'm gonna be sharing everything I'll show you guys in a little bit my physique once I am done with my hair and makeup um, I have an important meeting today that I want to get ready for and just overall get ready and feel productive. 
Guys, so I I don't know if you guys can tell, but I tried putting freckles. <laughs> Lolo thinks I look dumb. <laughs> Anyways, I am finishing up here. My hair. It's still a little bit damp, but it's all right. All right, before I change, I guess since I'm wearing like shorts and stuff, I will share with you guys my physique update. So this is me weighing. I didn't weigh myself today and I already ate, so I'm not gonna even try. This is me weighing about 147 pounds. This is my <laughs> non-existent bicep. I do hold a little bit of fat here. Of the bat, bat wings. I don't really hold any fat in my stomach. Um, I will say I do have a little pouch, but that actually comes with my pregnancy, so. Okay guys, so I did wanna share one more thing about myself. I don't know about you guys, but in high school and in college when I was playing sports, I always, always, always got bruises, even when I didn't play sports, like for anything. And recently, um, I was like pressing, I was, let me just show you guys. So recently, I was just doing this to my leg, and guess what happened? I got a bruise, I got a bruise here and here so this is actually something that i learned about lipedema is that um, those affected areas where you do have lipedema which is the fat cell disease it bruises very easy and i just thought that was me you know of course when you have when you live in your own skin like you have a norm but i didn't realize how um unnormal that was i think there's a better word for that but i didn't realize that it wasn't as common to get bruises that easily and it just this has to do with my lipedema so i thought i'd share with that with you guys since that is something that i'm still learning about and figuring out what what i can do to better that particular condition um, if not avoid certain things. So, anywho, I am going to change now and get ready for the day. Okay, guys, in my last video, I showed you that I was painting my master bedroom and I didn't finish, but I finished yesterday. So, here it is. Doesn't it look amazing? So the walls actually look really white right now, but they're not. Um, they're that like tan beige color. I think you can see it better like right here. This is white and this is the beige. But let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited to get like furniture in here, have the bed, nightstand. Other than that, it looks amazing. I love the brown and the black. Like it's such a good compliment. I'm back in my bathroom and I'm trying out an outfit. I am not, like, I I don't consider myself at all fashionable. I don't even know. I'm still trying to figure out what looks good on me, to be honest. Anyways, I'm trying this on. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, what do you guys think about this? About this cropped shirt with these white high-waisted shorts? and this blazer. This blazer I thrifted and I really, really like it. I think it's the perfect length of the back. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that Chasing My Health series has been helpful, but if anything has continued to encourage you to keep going on your fitness journey, and no matter what obstacles come your way, you will overcome them and they are worth it. So. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on my outfit and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.